So for today's episode, I'm not exactly sure what I had planned. I have to go to the post office and drop off like 25 orders. So I figured, you know what, the post office is right next to Goodwill. We could start at Goodwill and just kind of continue. Maybe hit up a few thrift stores. I do have this BMW shirt that I thrifted the other day. It has tons of yellow stains on it. I'll actually show you guys it. Oh well, you guys. It has tons of yellow stains all throughout. Just horrible yellow. So I really want to try to get that out. I do make this thing that you can kind of take out t-shirts, so I'm hoping that that will work. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com, 100 items listed for sale. Every purchase does help support these videos. Let's get it, guys. Got the USA Olympic fleece, the little embroidery. Got this nice vintage Carhartt. Well, I don't know if it's vintage, but <clears throat> it has a vintage look just because it's super faded. Has like a fleece liner, a lot of piling or peeling or whatever. Made in USA though. Definitely gonna cop that. Got the old school logo athletics, the Florida Panthers, all embroidered. Really nice. I love how they did the gold outlining. Got this vintage Tommy Ho figure. Little sweater. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it though. It's super thick. And like I said, summer. I know it's on. I just got the Carhartt jacket, but even so, has a little hole also here. If you guys have been watching in a while, you know that I actually have a t shirt the same exact color wash, and it's one of my favorite shirts. I just found this crew neck or little hoodie. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me, but it's only $2 today, so I might as well grab it. Super sick. Just found this L.L. Bean duffel. It's pretty sick. It has like a bunch of pockets. And then what I like about it is look at the inside. This thing's crazy. You ready? Look at how blue that inside is. That thing is so sick. It's big too. Probably gonna end up grabbing this. So, when you're rich and you can get Burberry, but like you get super hot, so you just rip off the sleeves. Dude, what's going on here? I'm pretty sure this is authentic too. Authentic Burberry that they ripped the sleeves off because they were too hot. Well, I just found my new summer shirt. Well, that was a nice little start to the day. Duffel, I did end up picking an LB. It was only five bucks. I was like, why not, might as well. Now, let's just continue the day. Hit up another thrift store, drop this off at home, because we got a lot of stuff already. Came to a small thrift store. The only thing I found, I think I'm gonna get this for personal just because of the fade. It's from 1984, the Art Institute of Chicago. Damn, look at this. I'm not sure if this is like the sports authority, like the store that used to exist. It's on a Swingers uh, Made in USA tag. They want 10 bucks for it. But I think I'm gonna cop this. This thing is so nice. This little satin jacket, perfect condition. The Sports Authority. Old school logo athletic Florida Panthers jersey. Number 10 Burr. So the fire alarm went off at uh, Goodwill. And now there's a bunch of firefighters in here. They're like, what the hell is going on? Literally like all the fire trucks outside. They're probably getting trouble. They're probably like, yo, if there's no fire, you need to call in and say that there's no fire. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Usually I wait till the end of the video and I show you guys the find today, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys in the middle. I came home, quickly threw a pizza in the oven. It's about 10 minutes left till it's ready. So I figured, you know what, let's show you guys. We did hit up about three thrift stores this morning. To start it off, we have the Larry the Cable Guy Burberry ripped shirt. I think I'm gonna honestly keep this for personal. Yeah, Jackson, you're smelling it. I think I'm gonna keep this for personal just to like wear for the summertime. You guys know I love Burberry and you know, this is perfect, you know, just wear this to the beach, sleeves off. People are gonna be like, damn, look at this guy. Next, I did grab the Carhartt. It is, says a size medium. Uh, probably could fit a small though in like the faded. I don't even know what color this is. It's almost like a green colorway. Uh, you have the Carhartt little logo. It does have the fleece liner, um, but it does have a lot of like the peeling or whatever. I don't know if it's gonna come off on a t-shirt. Like me rubbing on it, it's not coming off. So it's probably just uh, from due to washing the old times. Next, we did pick up this Logo Athletic size large Florida Panthers crew neck with the all embroidered. You have the little hits of the red on the outskirts. This, like I said, if you guys know, my favorite shirt is one of these blue ones. And it's like the same wash, basically. And I figured, you know what, let's pick this up. 
literally the same wash. I think this wash is just so sick. It fits probably about a medium. It says small on the tag, but seems like it might fit a little oversized. And it says Australia Dreamtime. I think I'm going to add this just to the personal collection, just because the fading is so nice. You have the old school. It's actually from 1984, the Art Institute of Chicago. And then you have a bunch of like signatures. Jackson, can you please move? Next size large, you have the Logo 7, old school Florida Panthers jersey. Size large. See the back, number 15, burr, or sorry, number 10, burr. And the last find of today, we did pick up this old school made in USA Swingster size XL satin jacket. It says the Sports Authority. And with that jacket, I'm not exactly sure if that's, you know, the store, the Sports Authority, or if they just put the Sports Authority. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever seen that before. I tried doing some research. I literally can't find anything on it, so it might just be a random custom-made jacket that someone printed on, like an old-school satin jacket. Now, I'm quickly going to wait for the pizza to go. Then I do have to go to Publix because I want to try to make a shirt white. I've done it before. I got this BMW shirt the other day, and it is just so bad with yellow and stains all throughout but i want to try to preserve it and keep it in the personal collection that like white remover that takes out all the stains usually they sell it at Publix. so after i eat lunch i am going to head out see if we can go find that so i'll catch up to you guys once the pizza's ready i'm on my last slice of pizza i totally forgot to show you guys but i had pepperoni's pizza thin crust always thin crust always and this is what we're gonna need the color remover and this is going to make the shirt white not the white wash i think this i've never tried this but i know for a fact that this works i'm actually going to get a couple just in case all right so i want to kind of show you guys the before and after i don't know if you guys can see the yellow stains literally all over the shirt you can obviously see those brown stains this shirt is just destroyed yellow stains all over here the collar yellow stains the lighting doesn't do it, but yellow stains all over, all on the back, just disgusting. We're going to take the right dye remover. We already got a bucket of water or a thing. We put it on high, we wait till it boils, then we're going to pour the mix in, and then we're going to let it settle down a little bit, then I'm going to put the shirt in. All right, moment of truth. This could either fix the shirt completely and make it all nice and white, or it could ruin it completely and the whole back graphic could peel off. Guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully the graphic stays intact. That's my biggest worry, is that the graphic is gonna peel off. Now we're gonna leave this to soak for probably about 15 to 30 minutes. Just make sure the shirt gets it all nice and soaked. So it's been soaking for like two hours now. I don't think it actually worked. I think the stains were just a little bit too deep, but I am gonna throw it in the wash. I put a little bit of bleach. Let's check in like 30 minutes or so. And while that's in the wash, I gotta go to the dog store. I gotta go and get Captain some dog food. Like I said, it's been about two hours. I already took a shower, cleaned up, took a nap and everything, relaxed. So let's go get Captain some dog food. Hopefully that shirt is saved. If it doesn't end up the yellow coming out, I think I'm probably gonna dye it. Maybe a black colorway, maybe a blue colorway, but hopefully the yellow comes out because I do want to keep it nice and white. What kind of dog is this for? Uh, the wet food's gonna be for my Frenchie, and then the big bone is for my uh, lab. Oh, okay. Uh Captain is starting to get a little bit skinnier than usually you could see like his ribs on the midside, so I tried to get mainly just wet food instead of dry food because he does have a condition where when he drinks too much water, he throws up and he ends up throwing up his food so it makes him kind of skinny. And his health condition just isn't the best, but I try with Captain as much as I can. So I did end up grabbing a couple like this one has healthy chicken rice and chunks and gravy. Uh, this has turkey rice and vegetables, so I think this might add a little bit more uh, meat on his bone. 
and it might be easier for him to digest just because like this is in gravy and this is all in, like in liquid versus him having the dry pebbles kind of get stuck in his throat. Well, that was a fail. It's still completely yellow and now the back is peeled off even more. So now my only solution is gonna dye it. I'm just gonna dye it all black before I ruin the shirt even more because the peeling is getting really bad. Ah, oh, such a shame. But you could see it's so yellow. Well, unfortunately that was a fail. I'm gonna kind of catch on till tomorrow. I'll go and get the black dye and kind of show you guys maybe that will re-wreck the shirt and you know, we can actually wear it instead of having those huge yellow spots all over. But I'm sorry, today was kind of a lackluster video. Uh, yesterday I didn't upload. I just wasn't feeling good. My stomach was kind of in the knots, so I just stayed in bed kind of all day. Today it was kind of a little bit better, but I still kind of do have a little knot in my stomach. So that's why I didn't really do much. I just hit up the three thrift stores early in the morning. But come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog at 8 p.m. I promise I won't disappoint for tomorrow's video. I will see you guys then. Make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com. Everything that I got today, plus 100 other items, is for sale on my website. Literally t-shirts starting at $10 plus shipping. You really can't go wrong. Every purchase really does help support these daily videos. You don't have, I don't have any other side jobs. I don't have any other incomes. Kind of YouTube and selling the clothes is my only income at the moment. So every purchase really does help support me. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. <music>